Okay, this is going to be the first of a series of videos where we're going to construct a hip roof. Our example here is an A12. So I've done some of the math here already. Well, we'll break these videos down, I think, into different parts. And, and first we'll start with the ridge, and then we'll do the commons, and then we'll do hips and uh, jacks. So our roof is, is small. It's a 39 and a half wide by 86 long. And uh, the math I've done already for the A12, the unit line length for a common is 14.42, and for a hip or valley is 18.76. So we will have talked about all that in class and how to get those numbers. Now uh, let's go ahead and, and figure out the theoretical length of the ridge, and then we will do the actual length of the ridge. So if we remember the way to calculate the ridge is to take the length of the building, subtract the span or the width of the building, and the difference there gives us the theoretical length of our ridge. So let's do that on the calculator. We're going to take 86, subtract 39 and a half. So our theoretical length is 46 and a half. So now we have to add an inch and a half to that, and I'll explain once we get that cut as to why we had to add that inch and a half. Okay, we're gonna calculate the length of the commons now. So I have 39 and a half inches as my span, so my run in decimal feet is how many units of run and how many units of line length I will have. So I just take my calculator again, I go 39.5, and I'm gonna divide that by two because my run is half my span and then I want that in decimal feet to see how many units there are so I divide by 12 and I got 1.6458 so I have 1.6458 units at 14.42 each so I'm gonna leave this number in my calculator and multiply it by my unit line length of 14.42. So the theoretical length of my common is 23.733 inches. Now when we actually lay that out, just like when we step it off, we have to shorten by half the thickness of the ridge on the horizontal. So our ridge uh, is made out of inch and a half stock. So half the thickness of that is three quarters of an inch. Now I don't take the three quarters off that and just cut this at 23 and even, uh, so that's pretty darn close to three quarters right there because that measurement is taken on the level. So that's the reason why we end up with 48 inches here. When tripod framing, I am throwing a common rafter at the end of my ridge on either end. So I'm adding three quarters of an inch on either end, which is a total of an inch and a half which brings that to 48 inches. So this is our common, the length of the common from the center of the ridge to the building line. Uh, if I look over here, I just wrote down that we have a 10 inch projection. So I need to figure out how long that projection is converted into overhang, and then I will add it to this so I can have my overall length. So I have 10 inches of run so I'm going to do my 10 divided by 12 to figure out how many units of, of line length or units of run that I have. And now I multiply that times my unit line length. And I get 12.017 inches. So I would add that to that. That will be my total length of all of that. Uh, I'm going to use this, this number differently though. I want to lay everything out from the center of the ridge to the building line. That building line is important to me. That's where my bird's mouth is going to be in, and it's all going to be sort of laid out from there. And at that point, I will add my 12.017 inches to it when I actually uh, go over to the sawhorse and lay this out. Let's do the math now for our hips. So the hips are based on the run of the common. So we still have 1.6458 units of run for the hips, just like we did for the commons. Now our line length is 18.76 per foot of run, uh, which we could pull right off our framing square, but uh, we did the math right there. So I'm gonna do this, 
times my unit line length for the hip or valley, 18.76. And so my length here to the building line from the center of ridge is 30.875 inches. Now I'm gonna need to know how long is this thing gonna be? Uh, how long is my tail on this thing or my, my overhang? So I have to do the same thing. I have a 10 inch projection. So I will take 10 divided by 12 because that projection is square to the building line. It's not on the, on the run of the hip or valley. So I still have that same 8.333 units like I did here for my commons. And I just have to multiply that by my unit line length of a hip or valley. And I get 15.6 three three inches now I would add that to my 30.875 and I get 46.508 inches now that's how long from center of ridge to the end of projection my hip is so I'm gonna need a, a four foot piece all right let's last step here we're gonna do our jack calculations. So jacks are on the same slope and the same angle. They run square to the building line uh, just like a common does. So we're going to use the same unit run for them. Uh, so let's go with number four here. Jacks. These are, these are our hip jacks, of course, because there's no valleys on this. So one thing we need to do then is, is find our common difference. So common difference we find by taking our on-center spacing, divide by our unit run, right? So almost always gonna be 12. Well, it is 12, it's gonna be, it is 12. So that tells us how many units we have for uh, the on-center spacing. Because if we're over 16 inches, we go in 16 inches on the building because that hip runs at 45 to the building line. So common difference is going to equal in this case 16 divided by 12 and then we multiply that by our unit line length so that tells us how many units of run we have there so this that I know the answer to that is 1.333 so that's always what it is for 16 on center and our unit line length in this case is 14.42 now you'd be best to keep all of those decimals in there rather than going one point three 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 you'd be more accurate to do 16 divided by 12 it's going to give you a longer decimal there and then we want to multiply that by our 14.42 I mean it we're splitting hairs here it's not not a big deal but in the end it, it may make a you know a decimal zero zero one of a difference here if we don't leave our threes all the way in there so 19.227 is our common difference. So now it all depends on how we're gonna use this, if we're gonna lay out from the corner or if we're gonna shorten from the commons. So if everything's laid out from the commons, which is sort of my preferred method to do this, I would take my common difference subtracted from my uh, length of common. So there's my common difference, and I would start then with my 23.7 33 and I'm going to subtract my 19.227 that leaves me with my first hip jack is 4.506 inches long now that's not very long and that's fine but we're concerned about that because that's only from the center of the hip down to the building line and we will have the projection that we need to to deal with out there too so it's not going to be just four and a half inches long. We'll have to add the projection, which we know to be this. So it's more like one foot, uh, four and a half inches long total to the fascia.